Welcome everyone. You are invited for 30 minutes glow yoga with Kona. With this beautiful view on the sea, I will lead you through our today's practice. This full body yoga class is concentrated on inward connection and activation of different parts of the body. Our outer glow comes from the inner glow and I hope this practice will help you looking beautiful inside out. See you on the mat. Stand up straight, make your feet parallel to each other, spread your toes and push down evenly through the four corners of your feet. Allow your eyes to rest lightly closed with sense of softness around and through your eyes. Feel the grounding through your feet, your toes. Feel the support of the floor or surface beneath you. Sense all parts of your body to become ready for this practice. With inhale, raise your right arm fully up and exhale down. Fully bring attention to this movement and connect it to your breath. Exhale. Sense your arm relaxing. Inhale, fully stretching arm up. And exhale, relax. With inhale, stretch arm up and now lean to the side. Keep your hips straight in one line. And stretch the side. With exhale, move your arm down. With inhale, your left arm comes up and exhale down. Connect your movement to your breath. Inhale up and exhaling down, fully relax with exhale. Inhaling up and exhale, move down. Inhale. Stretch up and from here lean to the side, try to keep your hips in one line. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale fully, stretch up your palms together, you may interlock your fingers if it helps you to stretch more and then stretch up, exhale down. Inhale, stretching up again, palms together, you may interlock your fingers and gently bend your spine, opening the chest, not only bending from the lower back. Beautiful. Inhale up and exhale, move your arms down. Beautiful. Put your arms on your hips and from here we will start neck circles. Always be gentle with your neck and again try to connect the movements to your breath. Exhaling down and inhaling, moving your head up. Once you finish one side, move to another. Few circles connecting it to your breath. From here breathing in your right leg bends in the knee and we start ankle circles that's where awakening of the lower body part starts. Beautiful. Exhale down, move your left knee up and start the circles. Trying to make the full circle as full as possible to awaken our legs for the today's practice. Come 
to the front of your mat. With inhale, raise your arms higher. Exhale, gentle bend. Inhale, stretch up again and with exhale, Uttanasana or forward bend. Pressing your head closer to knees. Inhale, stretch your spine. And with exhale, jump or step to plank. Inhale and exhale, Chaturanga. With inhale, up to Cobra Pose. And exhale in fully to Downward Dog. Your hips higher, shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen your lower back. As well as lengthening your neck. And just try to straighten your knees if possible. Remove arch from your spine. Try to be fully present in this pose, feeling which parts are activated. Inhale, step or jump to front. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhaling up and exhale, bend. Full inhale and exhale, release. We repeat with inhale, stretch your arms higher, exhale, bending down, inhale and exhale to Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your back and with exhale, jump or step to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, inhaling up to Cobra, opening your chest fully. You may do lower cobra if this pose is too difficult for you. Beautiful. And with exhale, come into downward dog. With inhale, your right leg comes up. And now hold it in between your palms. Engage abdomen. And with exhale, come into pigeon. Your leg goes down. Feel the stretch in your legs. Maybe try to move your leg more parallel to the corner of the mat. Keep connected to your breath and survey this feeling here and now inside you notice how this pose affects your body now inhale and exhale right leg comes up down to downward dog Check your downward dog pose and from here full inhale and raising your right leg up. Exhale, holding in between your arms, engage the abdomen here and full exhale down to pigeon. And now let's see how this side is different from the other side absolutely normal if one side feels more tight or more stretched. Invite your breath into this pose. here remove the arch from your back your head is hanging look in between your palms and jump or step closer inhale and exhale down to Uttanasana inhaling up stretching arms up and exhale gentle bend inhale up again and exhale down samasthiti inhale up 
connect your palms together Rikshasana, three pose lift your right leg and press it inside the thigh or inside your leg as high as possible keep your gaze strong in one point balance your body remember balance in your body brings balance in your inner space your palms moving to chest and from here we try to stretch our leg to warrior tree and now as your leg is stretched straighten your arms and try to stay here the body is in one line if it's too difficult you may keep your left knee bended beautiful stay strong with exhale move your palms or fingers on the floor and this is a standing split remember don't push too hard on yourself as far as you can go as as well as you feel the stretch you don't have to push too much exhaling leg moving down Uttanasana head closer to your knees and now witness your feelings without judgment exhale down inhaling arms up beautiful exhale release notice this difference inhaling up and now lift your left leg place it on your inner thigh or on your shin your ankle as high as you can go look at one steady point and keep the whole body balanced spread your weight evenly on all the toes of your right foot feel your right foot is strongly rooted to the, to the surface beneath you exhale palms to chest and from here stretch your left leg to the warrior tree as your leg is stretched try to stretch your arms as well to the front keep your body in one line if possible beautiful stay here strongly don't forget to breathe inhaling and exhaling palms or fingers down staying in split your left leg goes up feel how your leg is stretching in this pose and exhale step your left foot closer to your right full exhale to Uttanasana your forehead closer to your knees and maybe interlock your fingers behind your back to stretch even more and then if you feel that you are stretched enough you may release your lock and notice the difference then now grab your big toes with middle and index fingers inhaling stretching your spine and exhaling bending your elbows more deeper if possible with straight spine moving your abdomen closer to your thighs maybe bending elbows even more 
Notice slowly how your body is getting more and more stretched during this practice to get this inner glow. Inhaling up, exhaling, slow bend, full inhale and exhale down. Come to the front of your mat, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale Uttanasana, inhale, lengthen your back, with exhale, jumper step to plank, and now in plank, engage the abdomen, lengthen your neck, and distribute your your weight equally on palms and feet. Feel that engagement through your core. With exhale, Chaturanga press, inhaling up to Cobra, opening your chest. And exhaling to Downward Dog. Beautiful. Great job. Maybe trying to press your heels a little bit more down, but remember that's not the main point here. Exhaling, jump to the front or find your way to sitting. Lengthen your legs in front of you. Keep your spine straight, this is the starting pose, Dandasana, your arms higher, palms in front of each other, keeping your body straight, beautiful, be strong. This pose may look simple but it's very activating different parts of the body. With inhale, bend your right leg and Place your foot inside your thigh, inhaling up and exhaling, move closer to your left foot. Try to bend more from the abdomen and keeping your spine straight here. Lengthen your lower back. And keep your gaze focused at the big toe. It may help you with the balance. Once you find that stretch, you can keep your head low. Inhaling up, release your leg. Stretch your legs to the front and now bend your left leg. Place the sole of the foot inside the right thigh, inhaling, raise your arms higher and exhaling down closer to your right leg. Maybe interlock your fingers behind your foot if you are flexible or you may just keep them on your leg as far as you can go, remember it's not about how it looks but how the pose feels. And with straight spine, moving closer your belly to your thigh. Looking at your big toe, stretching your lower back, inhaling up, stretch your legs in front of you, and now bend your right leg this time press the foot closer inhale and exhale press your left elbow over the right knee and twist to the side feel the twist if your left hip is coming up press it down closer to the mat feel the twist in your waist in your abdomen look back over the right shoulder don't forget to breathe, inhale and exhale, just normal breathing, inhale and exhale, release, 
bending your left leg press your right elbow now over the left knee and look over the left shoulder feel how this pose affects your inner space all twisting postures are good for digestion but more important is your own effect from the pose inhaling up stretch your arms higher and exhale down place your arms on the sole of the foot maybe over the fingers or your ankles and from here start to bend bend first from the abdomen beautiful Uttanasana we try to keep the spine straight this is the most important inhale place your palms over the hips and from here keep your hips higher soles of the foot strongly pressed to the mat this pose is great counterbalance for Uttanasana exhale down release and now sit up your feet together and this is the butterfly pose hold your feet and releasing tension move your legs up and down it helps you to stretch your legs as well as releasing any blocks that you may have and breathe normally inhaling up and exhale move down closer to your feet remember not pushing too much maybe bending your elbows if it may help to grab your feet beautiful stay here and now keep your legs widen as wide as possible if it's too difficult you may bend your knees and then we inhale full inhale stretch your spine and exhale move down your arms on the mat as much as your body allows to do so connect with your breath here maybe keep your elbows or just fingers or whole palm on the mat and stay here notice how your legs are stretching maybe moving more down with each exhale inhaling up and now hold the foot with one palm inside the sole and bend through the side closer to your leg bend as far as your body allows to don't overstretch here you may stretch your arm or you may grab the toes of your foot inhaling up stretch your arms and exhaling change the foot grab the sole of the foot or just place your palm next to your leg on the mat and bend from here remember to bend from the side beautiful it will help you to stretch 
the side as well as stretching the legs maybe looking up inhaling up with exhale moving down once again you may place your fingers over the toes if this stretch is possible for you and inhaling up again now place your left foot into half vajrasana meaning your hip on the mat and your shin next to your leg another leg is in half lotus or just next to your thigh inhaling and exhaling turn to the opposite side look over the shoulder this pose is also a twisting pose notice the effect in your legs in your waist inhaling coming back exhale release and now change the legs one leg into half vajrasana and one into half lotus remember you may place the other leg just the sole of the foot inside it's not necessary to do half lotus if you are not able to inhale and exhale twist to the side look over the shoulder keep your spine straight in this pose exhaling release sit down bend your knees place your palms behind and now with inhale hold your hips higher and bridge pose if your spine is flexible if your body allows to you have no problems with your back you might do full bridge as I'm showing and concentrate more on opening the chest not on bending the lower back and when you are ready release hold your knees bended Press the opposite knee with the opposite arm and press to the side twist. Another arm stretch to the side. Look at the fingers of your hand. Releasing any tension in your back. This pose is absolute relaxation inhale keep your knees higher and exhale switch the sides look at the fingers of the opposite hand just relax in this pose preparing for shavasana inhaling and exhaling prepare for shavasana you may grab your blanket or anything needed for your shavasana maybe stretch your body as you feel comfortable and then exhaling in coming to shavasana or corpse pose with your palms looking up to the sky or the ceiling Allow your eyes to rest lightly closed with sense of softness around and all through your eyes and come back to this resting pose trying to release tension sense your belly effortlessly rising and falling with the effortless flow 
of the breath. Feel your abdomen moving up and down. Do not control your breath. And let your abdomen soften here. Invite your breath inside this space. And simply become one with your breath, not controlling, not judging, just witnessing inhalation and exhalation. Feeling your body being in contact with the floor or any surface beneath you. Allow yourself, allow your physical body to be breathed and relaxed. be utterly at peace with this sense of equanimity all around you and within you let it soak inside yourself Allowing the inner glow to show as the outer glow. Slowly moving your fingers, moving your toes, maybe bending your knees slowly, slowly. If you are ready, coming back up to sitting with closed eyes do not open your eyes still come to any comfortable sitting posture from here I encourage you to stay in meditation if you have time be grateful for this practice for all your teachers for yourself place your palms in front of your chest as the gesture of gratitude thank you grab your palms one on one to create heat place it over your eyes and slowly inhale and exhale release your palms from your eyes open your eyes namaste thank you everyone